Hello everyone, it's Harriet here. I hear it's a heat wave in England, but I'm currently in Scotland. <laughs> what I really like about rainy weather for painting is that it creates sort of layers of mist. I love how the hills sort of are lost in the background of that, those trees. And I think watercolor is a really great medium for sort of showing that, but I don't really want to paint. In, outside in the rain so I'm gonna go in here and paint this beautiful misty mysterious view so as usual I like to just start off my painting with a layer of water all across the page I'm just gonna go in really subtle start and I'm just using the actual brush strokes to suggest the tips of the trees I just really want to give that feeling of them coming out of the, the mist. Maybe use a slightly bigger brush to kind of draw this in a bit more. And give you my palette quite limited. And just keep slowly building up layer upon layer. You'll find that each layer of paint will sort of recede into the background because of the water that's already on the page. Now I want to bring in more colours, so I'm mixing up some blues and greens to make a darker colour to go in with. You know, I'm just really going to load up the brush and just use this to get in some of those larger trees that I can kind of see at the front. And I'm now using a smaller brush to start to bring in the details of the pines. And you can see, because I've been using different colours at different points, the pigments all just start to separate a bit. You can see like little bits of purple in there. I'm gonna get some much thicker paint now. And just go into the painting with more pigment just to sort of create those darker areas. Kind of want to give a sense of that mist, so I might try and just lick a bit of clean water off my brush onto it, just to sort of break up the surface and give that suggestion of rain. And you can see because the paper is so heavy, this arches paper, it's allowing me to really build it up. I've really only used about four different colours for this so far. I think a muted palette is really important for suggesting how that rain has obscured parts of it. I'm bringing some more watered down paint now, just to maybe give a bit of variety. I'm gonna just try dragging this out and see what that effect it gives it. Really now I'm just experimenting with different levels of water and paint. So for the sky I'm gonna bring in some Payne's Grey, which is a classic rainy day colour. And maybe a little bit of red. And then I'm just gonna and bring that in really subtly. So again, I'm just gonna make the page quite wet so that the paint will just sort of merge in of its own accord. So you will find that because you're working on wet paper, everything will blur out and you'll have to sort of keep bringing in the extra details. So you can do this just using like different brushes, um, creating different shapes bring in different colours and just keep building it up but if you do make a mistake you can use tissue paper to sort of blot it away as well it gets too wet and you might also want to leave it to dry a bit between layers so I really love how these trees have started to develop as I left it to dry a bit so I just kind of want to maybe encourage that to do that a bit more if I just add a bit of water in there hopefully it will create a bit more of that sort of feeling you can see that just through like using some slightly different brushes you can get some really different effects. And when everything is completely dry I then always just go over with these final last little details so using a really fine brush so that they really stand out and I think this just really finishes it off. And if you're a right or perfectionist like me, it'll probably take you ages to actually finish because it's sort of push, pull, push, pull, paint, blur out, paint over. 
But eventually, I'm sure that you'll just get to a point where you can turn around and say... Okay, I think that's... I'd say that's done. I'm happy with that. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, happy painting. May you never have a dull day again, even if it's raining.